Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Tobias and in today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Toner TC310 USB condenser microphone. Judging by the Amazon page, it looks like this is a microphone designed for gaming and it goes for $29.99, comes with free shipping, and I'll go ahead and put the link to this Amazon page down in the description below. And in this video, I'm going to show you the unboxing, then I'll tell you a bit about the mic, then I'll do several different audio tests so we can get a feel for how this microphone sounds in different situations. And in the end, I'll give you guys my final review. And just really quick, if you'd like to see more of my videos in the future, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button. By the way, the audio that you're hearing right now is coming from the Toner TC310. I have it right here in front of me on my desk. I actually recorded the unboxing a little while ago, and I've taken some time to become familiar with the mic. So I'll go ahead and roll the unboxing for you right now. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. It comes with the mic, which comes with a pop filter and a shock mount and a tripod desk stand. It comes with a USB-C to USB-A cable. The USB-C side gets plugged into the back of the microphone and the USB-A side gets plugged into your computer. The top of the toner TC310 has a tap to mute button as well as the mic gain knob. And the bottom of the microphone is a knob that allows you to control the brightness of the RGB lights. There's also a touch button near the bottom of the microphone that allows you to change the RGB lights or even turn them off altogether. The weight of the TC310 is fairly light and the bottom feet of the tripod stand are kind of rubbery to prevent the microphone from sliding around on your desk. There's also a knob on the side of the tripod stand that allows you to adjust the angle of the microphone. I feel like the microphone sits pretty high considering that it's on a tripod desk stand, which is pretty cool because it brings the microphone closer to your mouth. You may notice that there is no headphone jack on the microphone for monitoring, so I just went ahead and I plugged my headphones into my computer, and I'm monitoring the audio through the program Logic Pro, which is also the program where I'm recording my audio to. So that covers just about all the details about this microphone. Next, I'm going to go ahead and do several different audio tests. First, I'm going to stop talking for a few seconds so we can take a listen to the noise floor. Try to listen to see if you can hear an underlying hiss noise. And right now I'm tapping on my computer's keyboard, which is right behind the TC310, and I'm talking at the same time. And right now I'm whispering into the TC310 from about one inch away. And right now I'm speaking into the toner TC310 from about five feet away. Alright guys, so I went back and I listened to the audio that I just recorded, and when it comes to my final review, I think that this is a pretty good microphone for $30. I think the audio quality is pretty decent. One thing that I do want to mention though is that I've noticed that while I've been using this microphone, I'm looking at my audio levels and I can see that I'm not clipping, but once I raise my voice to a certain level or higher, something internally is clipping my voice and causing a bit of distortion. I'll try to demonstrate that for you right now, and I'll be watching my levels here on my computer as I'm doing this. And as I'm doing this, I don't know if you guys can hear, but it sounds like my voice is kind of distorted. There's some sort of, I, I want to say it's almost like a compression. It's almost like this. there's some sort of compression taking place inside the microphone, and um, my volume levels are not clipping on my computer, but the microphone itself is clipping my volume at a certain level. Um, I have noticed, as, as long as you're, you're not too loud, the, 
The audio quality sounds pretty good in my opinion, especially for a $30 microphone. But I have noticed that when I do get louder, there is that distortion that kind of takes place. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to mention that, but I do think this is a pretty solid microphone for $30. I thought the audio quality was pretty decent. I was actually pretty impressed by how my guitar sounded. I thought that actually picked up my guitar pretty well. So in the end, I would say that, yeah, I like this microphone. I think the price reflects its quality. But as usual, I would love to know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think about this microphone down in the comments below. And of course, I will have the Amazon page for this microphone linked down in the description below in case you'd like to check that out. And if you did like this video or if it helped you out, I'd really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much. If you would like to see more of my videos in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also that bell notifications button. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and put my handle right here. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.